play everything now! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Welcome to Play Everything Now, and I have some news for you, something that will make you sit at ease if you were on the fences about the PSVR 2. If you are as excited as I am in anticipation of the PlayStation VR 2, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Anyway, let's go ahead and get down to business. If you did not know, PSVR 2 showed well at CES 2023, and it actually won Best VR at CES 2023. That is huge news for you guys. If you are on the fences, please don't be, because I studied the specs, I went over the specs, and based on what I ascertained from the information, it is the best bang for the buck. So we're gonna go ahead and see what was said about this unit at CES. Go ahead and read from their article here. Just ahead of its launch, the PlayStation VR 2 has absolutely blown us away as a true generational leap from previous PSVR and one of the best VR experiences we've played. We all know one of the limitations of the PSVR was the resolution. They had good games and some great games, but the resolution kind of held it back. Some shined more than others, but that doesn't seem to be the issue at this turn around the sun. So moving on, they also said the visual fidelity and the smoothness of the picture is incredible. The controllers feel great with impeccable haptics in and with what I call that PlayStation polish. The first party game experience immerses you in an interactive world rather than just feeling like a simulation that passes you by. Listen, VR is all about immersion. And another partner on the channel, Tech Fan, you know, he, he kind of wants to stay away from the VR because he doesn't want to ruin regular gaming. And I think VR is the future. And the more iterations of this unit is the better it's going to get. And I can't wait because VR is the future. You know, the meta world and all of these things coming in. People are not gonna go outside. They're gonna be in their VR, doing everything in their VR. And I mean everything. Everything is at your fingertips, <laughs> even if it's not real. Now, going on to the price tag. The price tag is $549 and it's going to be a little steep for those watching our bank balances right now, but for the specs you get a 4K resolution with 120 hertz refresh rate, eye tracking, and more. And they say it's worth the investment. Based on what I've read about the unit, it is worth the investment and I cannot wait to get my hands on it and I know you cannot wait to get your hands on it. This is not paid by Sony. This is just somebody that loves VR and sees the potential uh, where it can go. Now, for the biggest news, if you still need confirmation, we have a leader, a maker, a co-founder who has co-signed the PSVR, although it is a competitor of the Oculus Rift. And that is Palmer Lutke, the founder of Oculus. This is what he tweeted, this is what he had to say. I was blown away when I used PSVR 2 recently. The first PSVR was arguably the biggest success of the generation. And he is right because PlayStation VR really put VRs on the map. I believe it sold like 1.2 million or more and Sony had phenomenal games for that unit. And he says, this version will do even better. This is the competition. So this says leaps and bounds upon how PlayStation is setting the bar for price and quality. Of course, you can find more VRs that have higher resolutions and are better all around, but you're going to be paying a large price tag for that technology. And this unit, PSVR 2, sits in the perfect price for what you get. I'm behind it. I hope Sony puts games, exclusives behind it that really show. And I hope this video influenced you if you are on the fences, man. 
Let's get excited for PR VR 2, baby. Hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that bell, and I will see you on the next video of more VR footage and check out all the other footage that we have on this channel in the meantime as we start January off with a bang. Peace, game on.